Hi guys, this is Cy from Cyanide Software. Today we're going to talk about doing um, object replacing so we can work with landscape architect plans. Um, so sort of looking at this plan, and we've been given some trees, um, you know, the, when it comes to the palm trees, we have three different variations they want to use. Um, when it comes to the center plants, they have these two plants that they want to scatter around. Now, it's kind of difficult because you couldn't really use a scatter. Um, you could paint them, but it would still take a while and it wouldn't be as efficient. Uh, the other way you could do it would be to max script an object replace. Uh, but we have that built right into our tool. So let's sort of get started here. I'm just going to fire up our springboard. And we are going to do these inner ones first. And I'll sort of talk as it's replacing. So I'm going to say select similar. And I'm going to go up to our object replace. And I'm going to pick one of our bushes here and say replace. And it's going to go around and it takes into account the transformation and the scale of these um, symbols themselves when it goes to scatter these around. So if they were randomly scaled already, it would actually scale these trees for you. Uh, but in this case, uh, I don't think they are. I think they're all just been reset to uh, a similar object. Some are a different scale, uh, like these ones here. So let's just go and object replace with this, and we will pick our object and get this one out of the way. Uh, so these might give you a little variation. But you're going to still have the problem of they're all facing the exact same way. Um, they... Um, are going to have the same size in most of these. They're going to have the same texture. Um, so, is, yeah, you can see there's a little size variation in this now. Uh, but we're going to want to do a lot more with that. Um, and then last one is we want to grab these palm trees. So let's just select similar. Now, they give it, they've given us three palm trees to do. So we have to sort of break this up in a similar way. So we can go in up, open up Jumble and say, I want to do a percentage selection. So let's just say about 33% of these. And we can sort of seed this around till we get something that we like. That's pretty good. And we'll do the same thing. So we'll do our blue one first and go do an object replace with that. Um, so like I said, we're going to deal with, um, you know, rotation and sort of scaling stuff around. We'll take a look at it. It looks like there might have been one really big scaled up object tree back there, but we'll look at it. Um, I'm going to get all these things replaced first. Also, we're going to want to throw these into proxies because, um, you know, they're, they're in the objects, instanced objects themselves. So uh, let's go grab the next set and we'll open up Jumble again. And this time we want about 50% and we can seed this around a little more. All right, we'll go with that. All right, so let's just go do an object to replace. We'll use our green one this time. And so it is giving us, you know, pretty good. It's nice and easy. It's probably taken us so far a minute and a half <laughs> to get most of this around. We haven't had to, you know, put these trees into place by hand, which is always a nightmare. And it's, it's just time consuming and boring. And, you know, you don't want to come into work and do that. You want to spend time doing something that's a little more interesting than pushing trees around. All right. And let's get our last one here. And we'll go object replace that. Now, um, I'm probably going to give these a little bit of rotation and, and um, sort of change these around first before I put these into proxies. Um, but it doesn't even really matter. Um, it doesn't seem to mind if, um, you know, what I do, whether I do it before or after. Uh, putting these guys into proxies is very easy because we've written something that sort of takes the similar object and makes proxies out of them anyway. So, um, so if we were to just take a quick render of this, and you're going to see they're all sort of, you know, they're the same color. They're, you know, they're all straight. Um, you can see the, you know, the, it's just repetitive in here. You know, there's everything looks like it's just the same tree copied around. So we want to try and avoid that. So what we're going to want to do is let's just go select these guys and we'll say select similar. And we will, let's just close this down for now. And let's open up Jumble. And we're going to want to 
ununifying these and let's just sort of get some rotation out of this so minus 360 plus 360 we'll do a little you know angle you know a little lean on them and for scale wise I'm gonna bring these down to about yeah percentage maybe a little higher and there we go so we get a little scale out of that so if I was to go now render that should get a little more variation out of it you know get a little more trees you know tilting uh, it doesn't you can't tell that there's a repetitive pattern there is they're not you know all the same size and shape but they're all still the same texture so let's go back and we're gonna quickly we want to throw these into proxies so we're gonna go up here let's do an external file oops external file and we'll put these on my desktop in the proxy folder and let's just put these into half mesh and we'll go create our proxies and that's it it's done they're all proxies if you look at them so you can actually get rid of these uh, now I kept these in full mesh for now uh, because I want to actually go through add some color variation on this stuff so let's go and then I want to know which ones already changed so I do have a bark material in here as well so I th believe on all these trees let me just take a look so if I select these trees here yeah I have a bark material there so I'm gonna probably want to change just the leaves themselves so let's just go up here we're gonna turn on uh, shift I'm gonna do like a small hue when it comes to saturation I'm gonna do pretty much you know change I want to change these around quite a bit and I want to do some filtering so I want to do bark and I'm gonna add this but I want it to exclude the bark and now I can actually go put this into a pyramid and let's just go to the next one and we'll just give it a tiny bit of shift there pretty good amount of saturation brightness and contrast oops and contrast and we'll do the same thing I don't want bark on this so we'll go add that and say exclude and then we can put this into pyramid and the last one give me this yellow tree so let's say pyramid bring this up and you you and you and almost there you can do bark add those and we'll exclude and then the last ones we don't have to worry about bark um, we'll just go add a little variation in this as well and because these are just basically leaves these flowers so um, we're all right with that do a pyramid and then very last one so pyramid want a little color shift in this as well so it's given us something not that much so now if we go render this up we're gonna see we're gonna have variations in our you know in the color of our leaves there's quite a bit of difference now um, it might be a little too much on some of these brighter ones but yeah still works pretty well um, but the good thing was we were able to filter out the bark texture because we didn't want that going to light gray and almost black because the bark's gonna sort of similar you know stay stay sort of similar but yeah that's it so this probably took us a whole of, uh, four minutes to sort of go through and replace all this up and made it nice and easy so any more stuff go check us out at Sinai.com. cheers see you guys